Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why, right. yeah. And if, like, if there is no offlaner in the pool, if teams will ban Broodmother in the yes, second phase. If, if they don't first stage pick an offlaner, yeah. then it's, I mean, I, Phobos, but, I would say the best brood out there. Almost you can't right really now. first phase the brood anyway, so it's like, it's kind of yeah. tricky. I think you can if you have the last pick of first phase. You can definitely do it if you see We're it. Gonna... It forces the game in a very specific direction. You already see a Beastmaster, and then you see who's going jungle, get a one and two lane. We're going to find out who is going to have the first pick, and therefore, last pick, who? Who Let's go. win the draft? Draft is ready. Who? Thanks, With Virtus Pro vs EG game number two, and we are actually already one pick in. Look at that! Okay. Bounty Hunter removed by Virtus Pro, who right. has first pick. So we are in the same scenario as last time. And may I inform you that this time the only difference is that Death Prophet still in the pool, while Bat Rider is removed. A side of evil geniuses. So well, the, the last game EG went for Prophet plus Master. Beastmaster. Yep, yeah. and Beastmaster. Five seconds remaining. The Are each team will just do the same thing two games in a row. I feel like they often just go for a different strategy did, just so their opponents kind of just like they sometimes. Didn't Peter say he would not do that? He wouldn't do the same Jesus. lineup like two games in a row. I don't know if he said it, but I, I feel I like I, I've it. seen them. I've seen them not like where, they have done that. Where they had they, they could have gone to the same ending, but they chose not to. Like okay. instead, they would go for like an enigma here instead of the Beastmaster, or at least something a bit different. But we'll see. The Beastmaster is still possible. Nature's Prophet for now. I mean, Vengeful Spirit, Nature's Prophet, super prioritized heroes that we've seen today. Not all the days Nature's Prophet was actually I, I ignored. Nature's Prophet is super strong. Like, some teams but really underrate did... the heroes. I was going to say, why was he ignored for, I think it was yesterday or the day before? Teams just uh, either some last teams don't think Some teams don't actually think it's a high priority. Or some teams know this hero is strong. Because like, I feel like every series has its own meta. Like, not every team can play every single topic well. So some series that certain heroes will be ignored, even though it's a really strong hero. Well, we have uh, the Nature's Prophet Lion yeah. coming out. I, I actually like this opening more because it's much more flexible than you guys think. Like it's if the you same. if you go for the Beastmaster, then it's, it certainly locks up locks down the fact that the Beastmaster is most likely going to be yeah. your support because they don't really run a mid Beastmaster on Sumer. And they can replace Beastmaster with Enigma if they want to go for that mm. greed jungle. There's also like the the Chen, the Enchantress there, although and the prompt that they already have. Yeah, Ten they're, they're less preferred remaining. junglers for EG, the Chen Enchantress, but it's always a possibility. Five seconds remaining. We had Verge Pro pick Bat Rider in this stage uh, last game because Evil Genius just goes Reset for the exact time. same path in the picks. Virtus Pro, if you were to replace the Bat Rider, you want to pick up that DK Phobos hero now. Depends on if they want to <laughs> do that or maybe throw Curveball at the end. What would you go for? I'm kind of with Sin. Like second big brew, just go for it. His best hero. Uh, nah, you can't do that. You can. It's Lion. Yes, you can. Lion is you weird. Can, but Don't there's... tell them what you to do. Of course, can. you can. There pick There is so Let's much go. potential you to can. counter that hero. No, 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 no. The, the teams. But, oh, listen. The the teams that are really oh, good damn. with Broodmother, they can always one two back. Broodmother because they can change their lanes. Okay. Yeah. That is that is actually the biggest thing. Uh, wasn't where that... you're able to run Broodmother in yeah. literally any lane? Wasn't that like Vega during like the period last year? They just first phase their brood. They they don't, they don't care. And the other thing is, they have these brood players who know how to play the bad match. Converse mm -hmm. and Axe, they can verse a Tide, they can verse a Legion Commander and change their build and play style because they've played the hero so many times, they know how to deal with those quote unquote bad matchups. Yeah, you know how many mids know how to deal really. with the mid brood mother? They're like, oh, I'm playing Lina. All of a sudden, a brood mother shows up in their lane and they're just like fumbling. They're like, I don't know what yeah. to do. It's a very, very difficult matchup for most of the popular mids, actually. Especially in Volca. Good luck with that. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> well, yeah. it is an enigma. So, yeah. Greed is on the table here for Virtus Pro with the Beastmaster removed. If you're evil geniuses, you know that Virtus Pro is a bit more greedy than they were last game. You know you can't be as greedy with a bat, uh, with the Beastmaster as you were previous game. Are they going to go super hard push and punish Virtus Pro for that pick? No, it's I think that VP, or Prophet Jungle. I think VP will actually go push. I'm I'm betting on a Lycan here. Lycan's good. Four or five Lycan somewhere in there. Chen, Enigma offlane. Chen, Enigma offlane. <laughs> Just put He's the Enchantress Beastman. Put the right? Enigma offlane, play the Chen. Let's go push. Uh, that doesn't sound good, Cap. I don't think you should. That's the best. <laughs> okay, you're putting this on me all of a sudden. You're like, yeah, guys, Chen and Nick. No, that's terrible, Cap. Why would you say that? <laughs> Even the Juggernaut might also work. Like, if you want to push with the healing wall, like, that's a, a lot good, of options. Good here too. How yeah. about a Jakiro core? Kappa. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining. Moon would have some interesting things to say about that. Moon Meander sounded. Let, let's be real. We're watching European team here. They're not going to do something true. so bad. 
Well, no, North America. Yeah, I thought you were from North America. Weird. <laughs> you're, you're like an honorary American at this point. <laughs> that, that, they've actually been liking themselves. They might to actually say that they, they, might, <laughs> they might want to go greedy themselves. So they Damn don't, it, VP. Well, come on. They don't want EG to play like a fast-paced game. But, but EG, they can, can, EG can play fast-paced. They, they do still the have a chin. Yeah. Enchantress. If they want to play fast-paced. For EG, yeah, for yeah. EG. I think the other thing EG can do that's really fast paced is do the safe lane prop and get something for universe Five in the off lane, remaining. like a void or something, and then just use RTZ playing a safe lane farming prop. Just I mean, it's least likely. Least likely, though. Like, if you do that, you ha you are like under a lot of pressure of like, you need to do yep. very well in early game because you're fewer in the safe lane. I think FNG just like, he messed up. He thought he was picking a hero instead of banning it. <laughs> I'm sure that's the case. Sure. No, I just really thought that VP was going to change up their strategy okay. and play Man. more No spider for you. I thought EG might actually consider Brood for themselves in this draft, but just get rid of it, I guess. <laughs> We're super wrong, Cinderin, good job. <laughs> no, I, 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 I felt, I felt like Brood was going to play a role no matter what, but then it was yeah. about who picked it or banned it. Maybe we should listen Definitely. a little bit to the, more to the other character who seems to be more. Oh, that's why you ban Brood. <laughs> yes. They have a plan. Do so you it's have a greedy to jungle pick... enigma? Oh. You can't. So basically, cause... are they gonna do visage uh, themselves? Yeah, very, very quite likely. likely. Yeah. Quite likely. Fear visage. The thing is, it's almost yeah, certainly an offlane Ten nature's problem. I don't think they want to go greedy with a jungle NP. It just I it's think... unnecessary. Ooh, ooh, ooh. VP might actually Five pick themselves and put Venger in core. That's exactly what I wanted to say. I think that. Would be really good. But then it's gonna be an off lane. Uh, oh no, I don't, think, I don't think EG mind too much. I don't get the visit. I think the fourth pick may not even be visit. They'd rather get something like the Puck for Sumail. Uh, some, whatever his kind of range here to benefit from Drone. Even the Wind Ranger. I think Puck's a lot stronger yeah. than the Wind Ranger. Yeah. It's much, sure. That's where I feel like they want to fourth pick the Puck because settling for Wind Ranger, it's like, yeah, you got Wind Ranger, it's okay, but. Wind Ranger. But then you have a Wind Ranger. Yeah, then you go Wind Ranger. <laughs> what? It's not that bad. I know. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Neither was Lion back then. <laughs> or... Lion was pretty bad back then. Yeah, Honestly, yeah. he lost like all these all the games. Yeah, thinking hard. Yeah, this is a tough choice for them to take, and and they were not expecting to draw Rangers. Mm -hmm. Oh, they can go for team fight tight against it. when draw is pushing. You have a lot of team fight to defend. I just actually. Is that was what we saw when uh, the. That's just such a bad lane matchup. Drove... Yeah, it's bad in the lane, but it's good for the purpose of the game. You know, and like if good you for defend... defending high ground as yeah. well. Just. But... He, it's just, it, I think it's like one of the worst lane matchups for Tide is playing so against get, Drow. You it's... get this Iron Talon item and you go jungle. Yeah, we already have an Enigma, so it's like... You can have Tidehunter safe lane. Um, We've seen it before. Over SMP and Ag Now we're stretching. <laughs> yeah, well, you do... You, you well, you I mean, the gyro is like anymore. the same purpose. You want to have yeah. duos that can team yeah. fight so you can mm -hmm. defend the high. I think like the still Tide. Yeah, sure. I, I still like the Tide. Just the big camp by the secret shot with Iron Talon's enough to get some levels of farm. He's really cool. giggle. Pros, turn uh, to just a boy. Just a boy playing Dro Ranger. <laughs> and there's a there Push is happening. But FNG's over there. Now making his 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 logo. He's just like not like this. I'm gonna lose to Dro Ranger Visage. I think Shiva's suggestion is like impossible at this point. If you want to try to run an aggressive. Thanks, Sin. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, come on. No, seriously, it wasn't it, it wasn't to just throw you under the bus. But seriously, it's fine. You, you I should, hope they do it. You should Shiva, consider the options. You should consider the options for VP, right? Because right now it seems like they're looking for anything to do, right? <clears> but <throat> if you if you want to try to do an aggressive or a pseudo aggressive trial in against this, you're playing into Ten Drow. Seconds. Line Visage. Visage is an incredible try on try hero. You have a Nature's Prophet offlane who could join you. You're playing effectively with three and a half versus three. And in addition to that, the hero you would be laning with has to be Gyro up there, and he's short range against triple long, like long range. So, so this is almost impossible. This is most likely the offlane. Yeah. Yeah. It's this... team fight as well. Like you want to have heavy team fight against yeah. the push. Very similar to the type. This is like it's about. similar to the type, but like what Sim mentioned, probably the consideration is oh, Shaker, you can fissure, you can Ten get more remain. of the lane compared to tight. Yeah. Less which, item dependent. Yeah, you don't need the blink, Five and you just need remain. to be able to fissure in the early stages when they are pushing. And now, you can have an impact on that mid lane, which we still don't know what the matchup is, but mm. we do know that Draw Ranger Aura is likely mm. to play a Virtus problem Rose, for uh, DP. Back. So, what's G's hero gonna be? Probably something. I feel like a. Something, he just needs something safe and safe. Like even like a viper. It's like. He actually flashy, plays a really aggressive probably, viper later he's on. He's probably well. going to be up against a puck, right? Because they they removed. Oh, I mean, they, have ban, they have a ban left. Ooh, what about a death prophet? We have saw it first. I think death prophet's too greedy. Too greedy? Okay. Do you guys and too ulti reliant. EG can just keep on pushing. 
Your Ranger Lamp is too fast paced for a Death Prop to fit in. What was the last band you guys see? I think it was Invoker. Invoker was the last yeah, band? Yeah. Okay. Huh. So there is Puck, Wind Ranger, Viper. I think Puck is perfect. Yeah, yes. because Puck with Visage is a really, Puck. really good combination. I'm probably also the biggest Puck fan at this event out of anyone. Yes. I think Puck is good in like almost every game. <laughs> yeah, it's really good versus their so heroes. Good, like, like Band, so Shaker, like just Puck is like perfect here. For them. Five seconds but you need remaining. to make sure that you actually win your lane mid if you're G. If it is going to be a puck, withdraw Ranger or could, could get Queen of Pain. TA, TA wins the lane. <laughs> Quap loses to puck with yeah. Aura. Yes, yeah, but I think it's the... still like okay as far as the overall VP yeah. strategy. Like 40 goes. 60. In TA the lane. could do it. I think TA can win the lane. TA can still win yeah. against Aura. Yeah. Get the blink, All challenge right. to draw Ranger as soon as possible. Yeah. I guess I could see that, mm -hmm. yeah. They are taking a lot of time though, so they are considering other options, like Wind Ranger. Maybe they're just like mapping out their early game strat, going yeah. over what they want to do. The Often you see a, a team use up all their reserve time, even if they know what they're going to pick. Here comes some, I don't know, some is this a strat you really need to talk about five though? It's like, yeah. uh, defensive tri lane, we're going to five man down. Ooh. Oh sh... okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did not expect that. <laughs> Brewmaster, what the right. hell? Okay, the, the, explain. It's, Analyst. It's still yeah, the, come on, Cap. Why is that obvious? I mean, it's the <laughs> same. The same reason same why they need it. Like, it's like the the puck, but it's like uh, you have much much more control for like heroes like Enigma. Mm -hmm. And I think the other more important reason is you can go behind with the storm aspect and you can remove the bench before he swaps someone. So it's pretty good on that matter. Mm -hmm. And you have actually a tank because if you look at their lineup, if they have puck, dodge, draw, lion, prophet, there's Five no one standing in front. Me to be the mid shield, but with Brew, then you have someone to actually do that. Okay. This is smart. Yeah, this, this is really smart. If they get Veil of Discord with uh, this Gyrocopter is a really good pick. as well, yeah. got a lot of magic damage to defend high ground with. They've got a fighting chance now. Yeah. I was I was really worried for VP after the second phase. They have but so I think, much burst. I think they salvaged it a bit here in the end. Yeah. They have so much burst right now, they can just like burst heroes very easily. Are we going to see game three, gentlemen? I hope so. Looks, games, yeah, are, this, games are really good. This is looking like, yeah, the best series of the entire group stage we're going to get. Better than so. LGD OG? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. Was no, a good nothing yeah, that, you, that was a good you... series where it's like, I bet this, <laughs> this series is to me is taking, and we're just in game two. That's, that's, yeah, that's game true. Three. It's true. I hope we get game three. But I think, again, the draft I feel like is very good. Teams have a clear plan, a clear strategy uh, about what they want to do. So I, it, it's really 50 50. I don't, think we'll, I don't think we'll see. But I think they recovered a bit. Okay, well then, uh, then uh, Cap, I will leave you to do the honors. Very well. Thank you, Shiver. Game number two. Curtis Pro versus Evil Geniuses. Game two. And here we are. Oh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. It's VP taking on EG. Best of three showdown. <laughs> Big billing here, Ben. It is going to be, to quote gods, the best series of the entire group stage. Then Cinderin, well, he just kind of gunned that idea down and said, no, it will be 2-0, but it's an okay <laughs> draft. What do you think? Well, firstly, fear not, because we have new microphones. <laughs> now when they, <laughs> if they don't work, uh, that's on you. So, Caster's Curse, uh, you've tried to jinx it. But I'm here to. I said your thing, things change. It doesn't have to be better or for worse. You're you're just putting words in my mouth now, LD. Yeah, you didn't say it'd be better. You just said they're different. <laughs> they are different. So we'll see. See an unusual drafting phase. VP stole the Enigma. Not stole. They picked Enigma and EG. They're like, okay, let's heavy push into this. And but they have Zeus. They have Gyro. They have Yes. They have some good. Tower defense. Oh, beautiful fissure there, keeping EG away from the bottom bounty room, but Arteezy is going to grab the top one for free. Oh, that's a lot of damage already. They have some serious nuke potentials. PPD runs down and just gets a couple of auto attacks off on G. Pesky little bugger that he is. Then he will end up backing away. So it's going to be the Brewmaster mid, and Arteezy does end up leaving the bounty room for Sumail. Nobody in sight from Virtus Pro to Canesta. And thank God the creeps was fun, because now G can... Come on, man. <laughs> he just won't stop with the Mario bouncing. Yeah, he's uh, he's giving Atune a run for his money here on the Shadow Fiend. You know, sometimes I still have that. Didn't they like make around. that much quieter now? <laughs> I think he got the sound nerfed. <laughs> That's impressive. Oh, at least at least it wasn't fully deleted from the game. But if you if you do it enough, <laughs> Valve will listen. So looks like PVD will be assisting Universe on the bottom lane and Fear will be playing greedily on the top lane. So this, I mean, Phobos is going to have 
This is this is dream as Earthshaker. You can actually come to lane without having a fissure block constantly. He does not actually have any clarities, uh, but throughout visage, he can TP very early on if he so desires. RTZ doing his best to zone out, but without frost arrows, it is not that easy. So he is getting his levels here early on. Phobos actually getting aggressive onto RTZ is oh he picked busy up frost point. arrows. Whoa! Seeing who. I played Drow earlier this tournament. Someone else ran it and uh, definitely went for the early Frost Arrow point just for the zoning potential. I think I usually see RTZ get one point when he plays it, but generally does not level it up. Do you do you expect to see him take more points or not more than one? Okay. There was a period where players were experimenting with like the, the even the max Frost Arrows first, but considering the tools off laners have to get experience from from distance and from the side camp it seems like that's just not worth it yeah you don't pick her for frost arrows you pick her for precision aura and getting a lot of stats but it looks like he actually has put two points into frost arrows so this means they actually want to try and get kills on phobos phobos has a tp scroll so he's i don't know speaking of kills they want to make a move here on g they do have stick charges on sumail so he could have enough for a clap but uh pb is just gonna waddle through the lane rotate on towards top he wants to help out the top rune, but Phobos is the man to grab it. Grabbing that illusion rune, and more importantly, perhaps denying it to Mr. Sumail, who wanted the a bit of regen. G so far, staying even here relatively in the CS department. And the good news for BP is FNG, uncontested in the jungle thus far, has not really seen too much threat here from Peter. He's also relatively close to the mid lane too, because they could easily make a dive with the Nature's Prophet TPing in. And if your Enigma's there to help, they probably get one, if not two, return kills, and that makes your life a lot easier. So, nice ward here that's uh, keeping tabs on PPD as well. I'm gonna decide to head towards bottom. It's, uh, it'll be Lil pulling a lane back. Nature's Prophet though, making the TP rotation onto G in the mid lane. Sumail's got the clap off. They're gonna need help and they're gonna need it quickly. Enigma's not too far. They might be able to turn this one around. They do get the kill, but Sumail's stunned out of their tower. Likely to go down. Even pops the fairy fire. So some additional economic damage plus universe force F the bottom lane. They do get the first blood, but it comes at a cost. Great reaction from B though. Again, Enigma, you typically don't see them get involved with their team until level 6, and Lil with the early TP scroll and having enough mana to uh, stun and wave. So they were, they were very prepared for that. Silent. Getting okay farm here in the bottom lane. It's 13 CS, but definitely not quite on the level of uh, what the Drow Ranger has been able to accomplish. Or TZ in the lead there. 22 CS. TP. Definitely counting on the Enigma to come through here as we start to reach the four minute mark, getting close to that second rune spawn and also close to some key level sixes. It is still hiding out bottom, so we are seeing the full on dual lane. At this point, a little bit of pressure, at least attempted to deal with the Vengeful Spirit, but Lil getting his levels. And uh, Phobos on the off lane, only level three, so he is struggling a bit more than the enemy off lane for now. G slight edge there, but with the Enigma factor. It evens out for BP. Yeah, I think things are gonna start getting start getting hot pretty soon. Start getting hot and heated. Phobos doing a good job of interrupting fear from playing super really. He's not gonna have a super early level six and he's able to deny a lot of creeps from RTZ. They wanna make a play here with the ultimate about to come online for Sumail. PPD smoked, he dropped a ward. Stay on the low ground from FNG. And Radiant team just saw him. I think he poked down for a second. The ping came out. Or if they didn't see him, they definitely suspect him being in the neighborhood. The male was even posting up here. PPD's smoke attempt will be denied, so they don't get that easy Brewmaster level 6 initiation. They still might. Nature's Prophet does have Sprout and Nature's Call of Ill. Oh, he got dewarded though. Oh, FNG. Sees the lion poke his head down, and you know, something's not right. Still want to go for it though. They want, they want to start the pressure as soon as possible so that Enigma can't get his point push on make a team fight. Look at this. Very difficult to Arteezy with. even with the uh, the early point here in Gust as well. Not rushing that precision R max by any stretch. Yeah, also not getting Wraith Mans too. Hmm, I wonder why he's getting... Dominator Rush? Yeah. Dominator Rush is generally when you don't have enough farm to go around, so you need someone to do Ancients, but it's not like anyone else can really do Ancients that effectively. Maybe Nature's Prophet, so then you have... Draw Ranger, rotate to that area, and then have someone else from the lane. Usually, visage, the lion. I guess, maybe yeah, get his, his levels there. The EPD, his roaming has been constant, but the effectiveness has been 
relatively low, and I think they actually saw him walk up this hill. So they do have an Observer Ward down in the river. PPD trying to secure these runes. Phobos does have a Fissure, but from behind comes Universe. They get off the stun. Universe with the completed phase boots will be more than enough damage to bring him down. It's an Illusion rune grabbed now by Sumail. It's going to be rushing towards the blink here. 1400 gold roughly saved up. And uh, soon the blink brewmaster split will be online. Looks like Universe is going to skip the creep wave, and this tower is almost certainly going to die unless FNG can uh, do something about it. Let's see where the Earthshaker moves. He's to got Black Hole. Dire squad, no vision. He's just a bit too far back, and Phobos is going to have the fissure ready. This would be a big kill in Universe. Arteezy comes in, gets off the gun, put the call down there, and it will secure the Universe kill. He tries to save the day. Couldn't quite do it. This leaves Lil alone on the bottom lane, so he's going to get his levels this time. Uh, VP supports definitely getting a lot more farm priority than they did in game number one overall. Man, they're... Sumail makes a move in, but he was scouted by the ward of FNG. They've got a black hole available. Can he get that midnight pulse down in time? Black hole's ready, but he's not popping it yet, and Sumail is going to split. FNG walked right into it. The fissure to block him away. Earth Panda, can he get to him? Cyclone there, just trying to bite his time, wait out this fissure, and then turn, drops him down. The black hole's there, but it gets instantly canceled. The timing's not quite right as the boulder toss happens. Mid black hole animation, EG move forward. They get the Inigo kill, kill but now Sumail's overextended. Doesn't have the blink just yet. He tries to go on the pallet. Manning up on him, and Zuso comes through and closes the door. Universe now coming into the meat grinder. It's a bloody mess here at the top lane, but it ends up being two for two in the end. With a lot of big ultimates expended. Great Fissure coming out, Earthshaker. He, they, he just had to sit there and wait out the entire Fissure, which pretty much just I wasted uh, half of Brewmaster's alteration right there. But great cancel on the Black Hole kind of except for that, and at the end of the day, VP are not interested in giving any free power to EG. Zero. None. This is completely different from last game. It was like, ah, okay, we'll just, we'll just farm up with a safe laner. And they do have a safe laner that can kind of farm up equally, but with a drought ranger strategy, you want to limit those towers as soon as possible. You said zilch thus far. What's your least favorite zero? Well, I don't know. Name some. I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> I might have to go look up synonyms. <laughs> Zilch was all I had off the top of my head. Nada. Nada's a good, Nada's one. A good one. There's Other... a StarCraft reference for you. Game. Other languages are okay. Not a Spanish for nothing. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> they, they say they, they Nada and it's like... Oh, oh, I studied was... French, man. That was a Let me tell you, that was a mistake. Mid lane, though. Fear being chased out by G. As the lightning bolt, and he does get the kill, but the familiar stuns are going to trap G under the tower and result in his demise. So it's a big YOLO play there by the Zeus, and ends up being a lot of golden experience thrown back the other way. So Enigma's farm has actually slowed down a lot. And normally you'll see a mech come out pretty soon for him, but he doesn't even have his headdress yet, and this is because he was forced to counteract the movements from Evil Geniuses. But at the end of the day, Evil Geniuses is still not a T1 tower. Oh, they're rushing already. They're walking right into the pit. Radiant team didn't see much. They might have seen a couple of heroes like Fear moving down the river. And they do have a lot of big ultimates online, but they don't have the black hole crucially. And Benji actually feeling rather under-farmed here in the Enigma. 52 CS, but 2300 net worth. EG, you mentioned no towers yet, but this is a fast rush. It won't be contested. They're playing in a small window where Brewmaster ult is up and Enigma ult is down. And, and they're just jamming themselves in there. Yeah. Lil's got swap. Do they want to go? Call down comes through in the river. It's a complete air bomb from Mr. Silent. And now EG are going to want to move, but they pop the Zeus ult to try and discourage the chase. Lil gets called out on the high ground, and the vengeful spirit is going to swap herself in. Wants to die with a little bit of style. Well, we'll die. Not sure about the style points, though. That's for you to decide. The universe looks for the sprout. Oh, manages to catch G. The long range sprout there just oh. coming through. But the fissure block by DK Fobo is a godly one to keep PPD back, who still finagles his way through, gets the finger off, stuns him, and kills him anyway. Well, it was a good effort. Not good enough. It began with a less than ideal call down, and it ends with a couple of additional VP heroes dead. And Silent, not to be deterred yet, is going to go in again. The fissure blocks. DK Phobos, one man savior. No. Can't quite get the job done, but these fissures, I gotta tell you, the only thing giving VP any hope of taking a fight is FNG holding onto the black hole here, waiting for them to clump up. He's looking to go, he does pull the man, PPD and Sumail, the ambush is set, and the long-haired man delivers. They 
just walks through Melvick and he gets off the clamp, but DK Fobo slams him down with the echo. Ends up salvaging what looked like a horrendous exchange for Virtus Pro. That was that was great initiation though by Nature's Prophet. He had a pretty difficult sprout because he was casting it from the high ground on a almost max range Zeus away, and then he used the Trinians to block so that Peter could actually come in with his stun. And without that, the fight wouldn't start up. But at the end of the day, Enigma ulti used Drow Ranger doesn't die. It keeps up the farm, keeps up pumping up her agility, and they're still down some towers so th this is good this is the pace that EG wants and forcing heroes to uh, come and fight they're forcing the gyrocopter to come fight the Earthshaker is not going to get a blink anytime soon because of the amount of fighting Zeus working on his aether lens but it has been slowed down uh, Sumail he's got his blink dagger now lets it go on the south the call down comes out Sumail doesn't have the ultimate ready but the familiar stuns follow this one up good swap there by Lil to keep silent alive and he also retreats so Nice disengage, but this is without the Brewmaster ultimate, which is going to be coming relatively soon. Arteezy, meanwhile, mid. Confident position here. G, threatening to move in, but quite ready there with the Aether Lens. So what is Arteezy doing with his HOD creep? See one on the map? He's not stacking Ancients, so I'm not exactly sure where it is. Generally, he's scouting out around, but I that's a good indicator of where they're looking to hit or... Oh, BP. I think the latest one may have gotten killed off. Yeah, I think in this case, you might actually consider getting the magic resist creep to deal with the Zeus spam and the Earthshaker spam and call down. Oh, the flanking tactics from EG. They're coming from behind. FNG doesn't have a black hole, but he is going to try to slow things down. There's the fissure from Phobos. They've lost Universe in position. They get the Nature's Prophet. They cost them an Enigma. And G now has access to the high ground where he might look to retreat. Is gone, but he's getting a lot of nukes out fear. Stunned by Lil. Almost finished off. One more auto tank would do it, but the Wind Panda comes in. Saves the day. EG had managed to get the pulse around. There's no call down. There's no echo slam. There's no escape. Three have fallen fissure ready but the brewmaster ult still going maybe they can snipe sumail on the way out do they have buybacks they do on the venge they're thinking about a move in here the cooldown's ready in 30 but with the age is still online it's risky business to move in oh nature's Echo's problem. ready i actually fight this was really wants to crouching in the trees if sumail doesn't pop his region then yeah oh there it goes Oh, now things get dice here. Fissure comes out, but Sumail is on the right side of it this time, and DZ will claim the tower. Accelerating his farm advantage, and speaking of advantage, all three cores for EG, they top the net worth chart now. Things so, are looking good. RTZ is really good about using, uh, using his precision aura a lot, too. Uh, it's... They, they like rotate their cooldowns a lot too. Uh, with They fight sometimes when Nature Prophet's ultimate uh, is up. When that's not up, they go with Brewmaster. If not, then they pressure with Draw Ranger. Like, VP's constantly feeling threatened from all angles of that. Creeps being pushed in, little Brulings coming in, familiars flying in, and they, they're they just scrambling to try and defend from this onslaught that EG is providing. So looking at the way EG's itemizing here, there's already a Dominator on the Drow, and Sumail saving up quite a bit of gold, or are you thinking this might be a, a Midas Brewmaster? Are they looking for that extra bit of farm insurance? Dyer's middle tower has been Looks down. like it, actually. I haven't seen too many Midas Brewmasters. Yeah, Sumail usually plays a scaling core, though, and I think they said it was his fourth, maybe, game on Brewmaster. Not that he can't play it, it's just typical it fit that well into EG style, and if they had a Brewmaster last game, they would not have been able to scale nearly as well as like a Razor would, so I think he's trying to compensate for this by going more farm intensive items because of the, even like Midnight Pulse is good at defending the high ground. I want to point out how much vision EG is getting right now. Excellent micro by Universe here, sent three trance on scouting missions through the Radiant Jungle. Some of them have recently died off, but it's allowing some aggressive positioning from PPD. He's able to farm the enemy woods, and just as importantly, it basically gives away the fact that all of VP are top or back in the base. So, because of that EG, the map control advantage going their way, have nearly completed a blink on PPD. 2,000 gold chin change there, and they are closing in on some big items. Midas now out on the brew. Everybody on EG getting their farm. Yeah. And the, again, they have these three cores that are getting very, very farmed, and Fear is trying to get there, but. He hasn't been involved in too many kills, like this is just normally uh -oh. a FNG in a lot of trouble here. PPD's in position if he wants to make a move. They don't know quite what's behind FNG, so they're a little nervous about the rotation. There's a lot of AoE and VP. They're not going to opt to jump that. 
15 minute blink dagger is really good for people. This was unusual from him. I think that I, I saw Universe lend him a couple of treants so that he could mute effectively. While yeah, it also just things. gave him the vision so he was safely farming. Yeah. Very nicely done. We'll see Arteezy for now. He's gone back into the Yasha. So going full damage build here, and he has picked up the Frost Mage. Frost Ogre Creep, I should say. Bit of extra armor for him. Why the Frost Ogre, though? It's, a, it's an unusual one. They don't have that much physical damage. We used to see this one back when Havost played Drow Ranger for the old Navi. Oh, they might make a move here on top momentarily on the universe. Uh, he would actually solo Roshan very early with that. Roshan's a, a lot tankier nowadays. You need to get the blink on Shaker ASAP. And mid, there's a smoke. Sumail moving in. Jumps onto Silent, gets off the clap. The immediate hex. The double blink special for me, G. Silent. I don't think he liked that very much. He's dead nonetheless. Yeah, they, they need to jump from Digger. It's going to be really difficult to get a good black hole because of the Visage Familiars too. So, because of that, they have to have another tool of initiation, which would be the Shaker. And if he doesn't die, he should have his blink in just a couple of minutes. So looking at BP, obviously they've got the huge team fight lineup. Is this where you just batten down the hatches and huddle in your base? What's the game plan? They have to keep getting farm on their important heroes, mostly Gyro Cover. Gyro Cover is the most to, to have a lot of farm up. Good D ward by G coming up from the mid lane. Of course, get the blink dagger on Earthshaker. After that, they they need to make sure that Zeus and Gyro can uh, get those items, do the damage in the team fights. It's okay for them to like trade three for three, four for four because of the nature of Drow Ranger strategies. Although RTZ seems to be able to have a longer lifeline for a Drow Ranger than most uh, other Drow Ranger players. So, you know, maybe like 35, 40 is when you start getting a little bit worried for each that uh, the Drow Ranger might fall off. Yeah, and the build he's gone for, the, definitely one of the better farming builds you can go on Drow Ranger, so... Yeah. It extends his relevance. Phobos top lane, though, might get caught out here. PPD's diving, I'm already used the blink. Universe gonna pop the jump charge. They're really committing for this Phobos kill, perhaps a bit too far. They've got a swap Aether Lens ready, and they're gonna swap him out. Now they get the stone onto PPD. Great counterplay here from Lil. The Fissure follows it up, but the Ghost is there to prevent Lil's aggression. The bolt from Zeus will finish off PPD. And EG now in a headlong retreat, an angry mob of Virtus Pro here is storming down the lane. The RTZ buying the blink and gets up. Timing from it, but our shaker's going to blink. Still, Phobos can come in further, and they can dive deeper for this. Blink Fisher, I think he's in range for this one. He goes, he lets him find RTZ. The combos and counter blink by plays from VP. They pull it out, and they get to... Oh, shaker, not such an easy snack after all, eh? Oh, that, that would have been so clutch had EG gotten that, but VP were prepared for that. That blink is super important. I don't think I've ever seen a counter blink purchase, <laughs> but th there's a first time for everything here at the Shanghai Major. Radiance middle tower Big kill middle there. Tower. And with that, Earthshaker uh, has this key item now. So they've got yep. their, their team fight initiation. Enigma FNG could start to build towards a, a blink or BKB of his own. Then you, if you're EG, you gotta worry about this VP team fight as the game moves along. Well, where do you get a scepter? <laughs> I think I think he had the components on the curve. Yeah, but he was really far behind in terms of net worth. He was like like three thousand last time I checked, and then all of a sudden, boom, he has scepter. I guess that's what happens when things are happening on the opposite side of the map, and it's like they are just parked outside Roche. No, it will respawn in the next minute and a half. They need that draw ranger, and they're going to play. It looks like similar style to last game. Continue to get Roche, continue to scale, and get some items, and eventually you'll be able to break VP. It's also really impressive he's at farm because everybody on EG is farming, so it's not like they're giving the Visage much much space. Universe up there with the Drow Ranger, Arteezy's gone for an economy build, there's a Midas on Sumail, PPD's been aggressively farming and had a fast blink. Uh, even the old man managing to keep up. So VP, still looking for those next items, Silence BKB, delayed, he is not... F oh, they're much. waiting up top. Easy's also hunting. He's got Blink Dagger, he's gonna TP out. No Radiant Vision, he's just out of range. Oh, the fog ends right there. That would have been a sick kill. Easy's living a charmed life. At least this time. But right as EG smoke, the, the charming ends. Do salt and immediately they know something's up. EG. That's no that, good. No, that's like disgustingly good game sense. If he dies right there, VP maybe have a chance to contest Roche. He might not even have to pop black hole for that because Star Ranger only has 1100 HP at this point. But because of this, they that like extends the timer of the Star Ranger strength by I would say like a good three to four minutes just by that one point alone.
Yeah, you kill the Drow, the Roshan's a lot slower. EG probably don't feel too go for it. Yeah, and the and the T2 would get put on top. Like there's a, there's a lot of implications of that failed gank. Oh, an implication of it here for EG is they're gonna look to push. They rotate in the bottom lane, and you'll be happy to know they do have the cloak on her. Oh, they do. Yeah, oh. they've they've grabbed themselves a centaur courser. Twenty percent magic resistance on the creeps, five percent on the heroes. And they're gonna try to crack this base open nice and early. G wasting no time and going for objectives here. Arteezy up in front and an army of Triants as well as Familiars descend on the base. The other lanes are pushing out a bit though for VP. So That's why you pop Precision Aura soon. G, maybe we'll see them back up, but not yet. Silent holding the call down. Decent spread here from EG, Sumail. Warming through to the trees and he's gonna go. He engages on the Silent. He's trapped in the trees. The echo from DK Mamos is gonna catch on Artesius. He plays forward. He got caught out. They didn't get up. The Brewmasters put it now. They're gonna have to sack Artesius. They massacre the Drow Ranger. A catastrophic mistake from EG. And they smoke just to get in a bit closer. They're hunting on to Fear. VP have found their opening. Fear into the trees, but it's also back towards VP who get in range with the Zeus. Oh, they got the vision. They get a third kill. One of the most disastrous base sieges I have ever seen from a normally very disciplined EG. Thoroughly punished by VP. And they're maybe not even fully done yet. Do they have any protection here for PPD? He wants Bobos, he's got familiars. Can he get out? He blinks down to the river. And he will get a freebie, so. Something for EG, but that is not the tier three and racks they were looking for. Yeah, a grave mistake, as you mentioned, could have been prevented precautions firstly getting a bkb before you see high ground but that's kind of what happens when you go for a midas you won't have the bkb until later but it should pay off maybe later in the game but i think more importantly the visage birds weren't on the shaker you generally always want eyes on the shaker, and yeah maybe he fissure but he won't be able to stun lock you until death um so that's i think he was maybe trying to siege a tower with the with the birds but you want to put him on shakers can't blink, he can't get the echo, and you'll eventually get enough tower damage on the T3 that they're forced to make a move. But they weren't patient. I think they needed to go in, like with the brew, or should they have just sat back and sieged? He saw a good opportunity. They were taking a lot of damage. Even with the Centaur Courser, the like the creep wave got annihilated. It's a Zeus with the their landings. Yeah. It's a lot of magic damage. The, the like potentially a swapped in or a blink echo into a hole from the Enigma. Oh. So they, they see Phobos mate. They're gonna blink and stun him. The familiars are there. Phobos. Well, EG will let out some rage on him, and he won't live through it. Ouch. That, that ward mid paying off. It may lead to a tier 2 here as well. Yeah, they, they wanted to make a timing. It, 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 was, a, it was a decent time. The good news for VP is they still have their black hole. Didn't have to use it there. The echoed slam is ready. And looks like Shaker should be up time. So EG gonna play it safe. Blast of the Aegis. They'll back off. They'll farm the enemy jungle. And it looks like they'll slow things down a bit. It looks like MKB will be the next item of choice for the Gyrocopter. Zeus has Blink Dagger. And what is Enigma going for? Still unknown. Which I think it's called. Yeah, I would, I would just say BKB because there's, then there's no way they can stop the ultimate unless they right-click him to death. And I think they just... I don't know. Waiting for the Gyro to outscale the Drow is going to be very tough. Uh, because of the other other cores, like Shaker only does so much compared to like a Nature's Prophet, especially because he already has a Maelstrom. Very similar build uh, from the prior game. Silent still pretty light on the damage as well to deal with those familiars, but once he gets the MKB, should have an easier time of it. A flock of them hanging out here, nope. top the Radiant Hill, and it is a blink. So the more aggressive choice from FNG. A lot of faith in. Waiting and biding his time for that big ultimate. It seems like even if he only gets like a one second hole on three here, let's say it gets just canceled by a, a Drow Gust or a Familiar, I think it'll be enough. That's to... another round of spells from the Zeus, yeah. probably. And uh, Gyrocopter ultimate and flag and all, you know all these nasty things that they can dump into a very short. But th that depends on how well EG can siege a high ground. If it's only one hero doing it, like you definitely don't want to blink hold that. I think with the Zeus, they'll have enough enough hold for that. The scary thing that I see for VP right now is that Universe is farming like a champ, which yeah. means a very fast test with familiars and with two blink initiators, so you really can't go off on your own for much longer. However, they do have Sumail, who is a brute, 
So even if he gets like you know Blink Blads, AC, uh, Scepter, or he's whatever, still he, a yeah, he's, he's still a Brute. So he can only do so much. Yeah, and, that, and that's that's why the MKB is uh, such a good choice here. You've got the Brewmaster Evasion, worry about the Drunken Haze, and this is Gyro. I, I think that's why we see Silent rushing it here, where you might go for something like a Butterfly, otherwise to deal with some of this physical damage. Mm, yeah, it. Generally, you see you'll see the MKB like after the BKB starts wearing off, or else it's just a lot of redundancy. It's not like he has a scepter yet, so he can still kill the Bruising here very easily. I think you want to dump out as much damage as possible, like during the Echo, during the Black Hole, which I think Butterfly might have been a more suitable choice. But I guess he's just thinking long term that MK he's going to need an MKB anyways later. So why not just get it now? He still, you see them generally moving as a squad, two, three heroes closely knit together. EG, more of a spread offense. Sumail off farming the Radiant Woods. APD back in his own jungle and holding the mid lane universe. And they've got the vision advantage here and they're definitely more confident in terms of map control. So VP are kind of letting the fight come to them, but G not providing it just yet. But as I say that, VP look to change the formula. They smoke. Looks like they want to find something around the Roshan pit. They blink in, they're going to find the jump on RTZ in the mid lane. That's the Drow Ranger, a big pickoff. Easy with buyback available. I didn't see that one coming. Immediately, Universe will scramble the split push. I'll head towards the bottom lane and meet the PPD with the double damage on the line and some familiars heading up towards top. So, G will try to draw Virtus Pro back. We'll see if they cooperate. KB has been picked by Brewmaster to uh, mess with his initiation again. Even like Zeus can ruin, ruin his uh, jump timing. Uh PPD hiding in the trees here. Silence coming in, and meanwhile the Radiant Courier does get sniped, but keeping eyes on that lion. He's hidden in the trees. Looks like they're not going to find him. They're also moving towards Fear. Dangerously close. They even blink forward with FNG. The blink and Nima initiations from this Malphite is a bit impressive, but he could be in a bit of trouble here. The Familiars are in position. They're going to get a triple stun on Fear low, though. He turns with the Souls of the two male arrives. He will pop the Brewmasters, but there's a black hole available, but it's too late. FNG will just have to accept his fate. He ends up going down. Easy about to respawn and they're hunting for a bit more. DK Phobos with the pushback trying to get that blink dagger cooldown. One second. Is he gonna get up? Just barely able to jump down to the low ground. Wow. And will avoid that second casualty from it, the Bruce split. That was a miss Mike. Well, his fire panda just stopped and got fogged. If he didn't get the immolation off, yeah, that would have stopped the blink. But they're still chasing. University TP's in, but it's into Lil who's got the, the stun ready. Turns on him. The mech comes through. They can't finish up. University worms his way past the venture. Now Phobos gonna be next, and they end up losing to PPD with an emphatic finger to ensure that no man survives. You know, PPD's TP actually got canceled by the venge swap, and that's why it took so long for them to react. Top it was Enigma plus the Shaker, and then. And the other three were actually chasing Peter a very, very long time. So he probably thought they were getting more reinforcements on top. I think I was like, okay, if I hold, there will be people here. But there was actually you know, no one there to help him out. And there's your Solar Crest now. AG, after Radiant all of these back and forth exchanges, they continue to grow Radiant their lead. Now up to about a 13, 14,000 gold lead, 12,000 experience. Still feels like they're well within their timing window, but the black hole from FNG comes in! A sudden surprise burst the back up, they need more nuke damage through this! The Zeus will manage to finish up the line, then Aetherland's getting the job done! A very unexpected jump! EG, they weren't ready for that, caught with their pants down! And G will spank them, getting three kills in the end! Oh, VP, just when you think that they're about to forfeit some objectives, they come rushing in. That's a 4,400 gold swing, a 5,600 change of experience, an MKB for the gyro, a BKB likely well underway for FNG, an Octarine complete on G. Pain for EG. VP's just been doing an excellent job, though, on, the, on their defenses. First the Echo by Phobo, now the Blink Hole by Enigma when the uh, Familiar Suns were on cooldown. Like, the, the, this is extremely difficult for EG to end in the timing window that you would want to with the Brew and Drow as you're been in safe lane. So they're going to have to start taking a long time, but they've already prepared. Nature's Prophet converting into the late game build. Visage with his Scepter and Solar Crest. They have farm on four, pretty much four cores now. That Hex is very close, and it, it feels like those pickoffs will be important for EG. You just see VP even from a huge deficit. Overwhelming team fight, and, and that wasn't the full five man either. But Lil has been on point with it, saving a lot of lives. And he's gonna get a four staff here soon, so incredible range, reach from the bench. Sumail 
He's showing himself mid. PPD's behind him. The whole EG gang in the neighborhood. See what Arteezy's next item is going to be here. BKB. Uh, BKB as well. So, Sumail Boots of Travel coming. Fear working on a likely AC. Ooh, did they smoke underneath the ward? Uh, no, no, I think they were all out of vision. It was really close to the doesn't look like VP know what's coming, but the positioning's not too bad. If they can just get a BKB off on Silent quickly, you might be able to turn this one. No, they managed to get off the hex, and they will finish him off. Now Lil's in trouble, run down by familiars, and they look for more of the Sprout, trying to give them a bit of flying vision. The Gyrocopter with no buyback available. EG, they've got creeps coming in bottom. This might be a lane of racks, but they don't know that Gyro has no buyback. They may suspect it after having seen the MKB. But they don't know for sure. Black hole, 45 seconds on cooldown. It comes down to the echo here. Can they keep eyes on DK Phobos? They don't right now have any vision, but they brought down the tier three tower. And EG starting to work on this first lane of Rax. Gyro up in 30. Very dangerous for EG. They gotta beware of the big combo. Arteezy's BKB on cooldown, they're gonna play with Sumail, he pops his own BKB, he goes right on to G. He doesn't have his ultimate, but he's trying to force them back and just secure a safe objective, even if they lose the brew, it's worth it for Elena Vrax. FNG caught up by a stun from PPD, doesn't have a finger. They're gonna fissure him, he's actually on the wrong side of it, they commit an echo just for the lion to get that kill, but Arteezy absolutely fine, will waltz away. So EG, throwing some poise here, come right back for their first melee Rax. Couple of things with that smoking. Oh, such a weird angle for the Drow Ranger to attack. Normally, your fingers on the BKB button, especially when your whole team's around you, you expect a movement. You don't see anyone on the map. But I don't. I, I, he probably got thrown off by that arrow. Did you see the direction the arrow came from? It was. It was like downhill, like on the same ground, like on the side of the trees. He's probably like wondering what is going on. And then before he knows, he gets hyped. Oh, EG, they're in the pit. Phobos is coming in. He's got a cooldown ready. The Ancient is sniped by the Drow the last, and I think might have been from a wave of terror of will. And they're gonna look to fight this energy there with the Black Hole. He's pulled in fear. PPD, he does have a stun. He lets it go now. Can they turn the fight? Arteezy going to work on him from range. PPD finished off in the pit and silent now. Grabbing whatever he can. Picks up the bottle of Sumail. But it looks like he may drop. They stun Arteezy. They try to focus him down. The Fissure finishes the job. But he's got the Aegis. There's a double buyback. And they're coming right back looking for round two. Lil will fall and Arteezy now on the hunt. The rest of VP have made it out. A triple for Arteezy. But... They spent three buybacks there, and in the end, VP, they come out on top as far as gold goes. Simply because of the last hit. No, maybe it was like the last hit of the call down, but whatever happened right there, that was crazy that VP actually managed to get that. Don't forget about that devastating bottle grab. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's in their base now. Gee, maybe, maybe he scoops that one up, but VG, more importantly, they know some ultimates are down. And they're looking to end this game right now. Take that second lane of Rax, the tier three under siege. There's no Echo Slam available for 25. No Black Hole for 120. VP, they need a good swap initiation, something to get this party started. DK Phobos with the mini blink back, but it's already too late. The melee Rax is down. EG showing that killer instinct straight onto the top lane. VP trying to make their stand. Sumail just toying with them. He has the Fissure to prevent the cheese pop. So it costs him his life, but it also drags them very far away. Arteezy trapped within the middle of the enemy team, but he's just standing his ground going to work with the BKB. It's all for the racks, and they're gonna get it too. The melee's down. Everyone dropping low. EG are throwing bodies at this thing. Four dead and five racks as well. Just one solitary ranged racks is all that stands between EG and the Mega Creeps. The second time the female has done that. He's just been up in their face. Their blinkers cannot blink in. They cannot smoke to try and get a jump on EG. They're doing such a good job of protecting the Dark Ranger and making sure they do significant structural damage each and every one of these pushes. And Silent, unfortunately, has not had buyback for these past couple of fights, and they are. Imagine just if he pops the defense. cheese there. He yeah, super if he, pop, if he pops the cheese, then they, they actually just mega right there. So that. I, I think he was at like 80% when he had the opportunity to do it, but he got stun locked down. But the worst part right now, if you're VP, is you're up against a, a Drow Ranger, Prophet, and Visage. So you pretty much know that they're going to get that range right. Yeah, there's already people in base. Are you all in? Do you just all in down mid? Are you throwing it? Like, what's the play here if you're VP? 
Uh, well, Drought is up in 10. Where are the birds? The birds, I think, are dead. I think they have to wait for the bird response to the giant defend. I think you just can see one Rax and you're like, okay, whatever. They only have one range Rax, but it's not even going to heal up. That's the bad part. Uh oh. <laughs> Ranger BOT. Here comes Sumail. He's got the split ready. He pops the BKB, zoning the back end hole. Even take out his rage here on the range creep. But meanwhile, in the radio base, Arteezy on the move, heading straight for the rage Rax. TP home, gentlemen. VP. How many teleports do they have right now? They've got one on Phobos, one on Lil. Not popping. Them and not well, they do, but it's too late because all elsewhere, FNG, Fin Fidger trapped in. Bobo's trying to engage, goes on the PPD, RTZ, so he's right back down that top lane. They've already got the Mega Creeps, Creeps turn to hit the tier fours. They're losing their Enigma. G also in trouble. Fisher will finish him off. EG are really over committing for this one. Three are down, and it's going to be up to RTZ and Creeps to take something bigger. Well, they have slowed them down. VP, do they make the walk of shame back to their base, or do they all in down mid? It's a tough choice. They've got the Zeus here holding. RTZ just looking for openings, trying to cut waves, trying to slow them down. Now ratting his way towards the base is Sumail as well. Cheese available, can pass it to RTZ if need be. It's G against RTZ. Goes in first. Going down mid. This is getting a little intense. BP. Which way do they want to go? Seems they're committed. They're sticking around mid. And G, M against the world. Brewmaster starting to work on the tower. Enigma buys back everything on this fight. VP, they need to hold. They blink in with the Enigma. He summons a couple of Eidolons. And they're going for the throne. VP are committing for it. And then they think twice. And then they back off. They can't make up their minds. They see the TPs coming. They want to retreat in RTs. He wants to punish. Back and forth. Throne getting swarmed. VP just don't know what to do here, and oh, this could be bad. RTZ committee on the Phobos. There's the swap from Lil. Pulls him back to safety. Oof. Oof. That's what you call eyes on a prize from EG. That whole team was different. Yeah, ten, ten to be. They didn't have a TP on the gyrocopter, so they were kind of forced to hang around that area. And it, you know, it's not great. You're like, okay, well, do I get Rax or do I just defend Mega Creep? But they are not it's strong enough. Time it, it is, it's definitely rapier time. Yeah, <laughs> it's you, just, you cannot, <laughs> cannot, not get a rapier. Some deeps. He's actually not that far off. One good fight, he'll probably have it. Beware and lackey buyback. They do so, then they have found Universe. The rat's been discovered, and he will be essentially solo killed. The last hit is going to go to Phobos. That's the Shadow Blade now, so he's elevating his status into exterminator mode. But the creeps, they keep marching in. Top, middle, bottom. And it seems EG, they might just resettle here. They know a win, and they're on into the top eight, into the upper bracket here at the Shanghai Major. No rush if they want to take it slower. Now begin the preparation. Mega creeps. Lad's already complete on Vengeful Spirits. By the Shaker. way, somehow G suddenly has a hex after all that. With the non He's not the actor to read, but... Dude, they lost a lot of net worth. It's 10, 4, and 16 yeah. after a pretty rough start minute. I think they killed all their cores like twice in, in the past like 5, 10 minutes. But it's one of those weird situations where... Yes, they got Mega Creeps, but at the same time, I think EG understand the game is not over by any means. You look at the gold, the net worth discrepancy, it's basically even VP of the far superior team fight. They've got to be careful about how they approach this. Anything's possible with Raybeer. Including Dumbo. total disaster. <laughs> Including total disaster, yes. <laughs> Anything that is not necessarily good. We'll see. I think they need, they need Lotus Ult though, for the two hexes. But even even then, he needs butterfly, so he doesn't get bowed down by the visit from the like. So they rapier is the first crest? step. Mm. Rapier's first step of like a three-step process. Step three, butterfly. So you need butterfly, you need lotus orb, and you need rapier. They are one one third of the way there. I would say to actually being able to mount a reasonable defense. Actually, they have black. Actually, they have BKB black hole on Enigma. That's that's pretty darn good. We're on the late Aghanim Scepter from Sumail. 40 minutes in, it's gonna grab it. But honestly, just being able to stall for longer is perhaps all EG needs. Yeah, that that extra so much time. time. That extra cyclone could make all the difference. A little bit of evasion, a little bit of drunken haze, a little bit of clap here and there. Hey, he's underage, okay? <laughs> Nobody's ever said he couldn't ply his opponents with the booze. You can throw it at people, you just can't drink. Alright, here we go. 
Professor's kind of a jerk. Don't you think? Just throwing bottles of people all over the place. He, isn't he giving them to them so they can drink too? Yeah, but then they always they break on the people. Like they're covered, they're doused in alcohol. It's not nice. Yeah, but it is effective. <laughs> Blinds you instantly. Just need some fire too. Hmm. And now we're now we're getting a little violent for my life to condemn. Oh, Phobos! He's found PPD. There's the echo fissure and done. I mean the pickoffs, not forfeiting structures, and you know we saw one other situation where a throne was almost entirely exposed. Uh, but both tier fours were gone in that game. So VP, they still hold on to some semblance of a an outer buffer for now. At some point though, they'll start throwing like the water brewing, the fire brewing, as well as the the tree the, the visits the familiars, familiars, the triants. Yeah, like. They, they still have a lot to battle like through. Like ultra late me. game, you could even get your, you know, your Visage Refresher potentially, so you can get that extra round of familiars out. Yeah, Manta Styles, Necro Books, like all the good stuff. So It's okay, Gyro's just gonna stand there like a, yeah. the impenetrable tower defense and just mow everything down. Not Visage Familiars, they still take the same amount of hits. <laughs> it's true. That's where he needs the Butterfly. Yeah. I think that's the Butterfly though. So, still, I... EG, they need to do some structural damage. I pretty much would suggest like he's. I think he's casting precision aura on cooldown, just just to make sure the lanes are pushing as deep as possible. It's it's not like you're really relying on their creeps to. Anyways, um, Aegis Prophet has blink dagger, so he can be cheeky. Although Zeusol sees all, and with the Octarine, he is not afraid to spam that thing. Vision up as much as possible. Familiars, meanwhile. Look at the way Phobos is playing though, he is everywhere just daring people to split push out on his lonesome. Well with the Zeus, the kill potential is massive here. Yeah. Universe is actually an easy solo kill, PPD, if he gets the jump on him, is a kill. Arteezy, borderline I would say. He doesn't have the butterfly yet, so you're guaranteed that enchant totem hit. AG are gonna grab another Roshan, this is some free bodies to throw. At that throne. Still a glyph available. One tier four, very low. One alive. So now they need a split push all the Daryl can only defend, I think, two out of three, probably. And he probably spend some resources, like ultimates, I would say, just to take down the, at least that bottom T4. That one has 64 HP. That one should not be alive for very, very long. AG are looking to end that now. They've got double cheese. They haven't aged. The buybacks are plenty. And the creeps are marching in. You have to see from like all angles though. If you go from one angle, you'll just get fear blocked out or Zeus spammed out or black hole or whatever it may be. Or FNG will just kill your entire team with a four man black hole. Yeah, so, so you have to be very careful about uh, making sure that you siege from all angles, including with summons. The so Treant in the mid. I don't see anything in the bottom lane, but Universe can easily TP there, and most of the heroes are on top. And they got mega melee creeps here. They're on the case. Is there a point where VP actually are going to feel like they can push out? Like, if Silent is 7 slotted, is that the time, or is it just all about EG's mistakes? You need the Lotus Orb and the Butterfly, I would say, because the risk of him just dying in a Hex is way too strong right now. Uh, you also, I think, want him to tan it, so he can BKB and Leech up after the Lotus Orb. Because they're gonna try and focus in Texas, so there's still a long way to go. I, I, unless, of course, VP get like a two-man echo on people, and then they can maybe push out a little bit, get get some buybacks, and pressure from there. But with the way that EG is playing with their observer wards and staying pretty close, gem up on PPD and Aegis, you know that's more unlikely to happen. So for VP, you have to plan on EG not making mistakes and play for the. Play for the long game, maybe even another rapier. Well, this is already looking like it could be a grueling one. You don't need boots. <laughs> You're not leaving that face, buddy. Don't worry about it. But I'm actually surprised they haven't actually thrown summons on this bottom tower. Double damage. You get, the gold is still very useful for VP, but 
Ultimately, you get the tier four, and they're feeling a lot more exposed. They've got less damage to push these waves out. Yeah. I guess they want to make one big turn off the go. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Commitment. Now they're going to jump on the side. They do finish up the Dark Hawk. They ambush them in the base. EGM's from their trap. They have Black Hole to turn it around. Gyro has no buyback, though. They need more damage. It's up to G to get the job done. Artesia's fallen. He's going to buy back instantly. Phobos gets herded back into the well on the Brewmaster split. Working its magic glue. Stunned and controlled. There's the sheep. has got the initial. And it just goes splat. They have brought down the tier 4, VP hold, they hold for now, the Sprout coming through from Universe, he's still got an Aegis ready, Fissure's there on fear, but he stands his ground, the throne, exposed, Glenn's still there, don't forget to use the VP, not entirely out of this yet, oh maybe they are, 3 down, buyback coming out now from the Zeus, Pogos dead as well, FNG backing off the throne, low, still no clip, if there was ever a time, it's gotta be now, but it seems it may be too little, too late, FNG holding to serve in the pit, in the first, in the first, that is not gonna matter. Throne dead. AJ pulls through. A valiant effort. The glyph comes out. One last moment of defiance, but they just caught them off guard at the fountain of all places. Did he even get a hit anyone on three? He just died. Nobody ever expects the fountain smoke gank. <laughs> Killer instinct. Easy well played. Nice, nicely executed driving just right, and I think that Brewmaster pick definitely caught VP off guard. Well, it could, EG pulled through. Favorites come into this group, and well, to see if VP are gonna have a good shot.